When it comes to being a DoorDash driver, there's a lot that's out of your control. There's the traffic, there's how much people are gonna tip you, there's also if it's busy or not, and a plethora of other things that you can't control. And you could get burnt out pretty easily, and also you could be making not as much money as you could be. And so in this video, I wanted to give you seven apps that every single DoorDash driver needs to use in order to increase pay and also increase enjoyability. So with that said, let's get into things. So the first app that you're gonna wanna get is Gridwise, in my opinion. I think Gridwise is a great app that has some really cool features on it. First of all, you're gonna want it because you're gonna need to track every single mile that you drive while you're on the job. Because when it comes to tax season, you're gonna need those miles documented so that you can get the 58 cent per mile tax deduction. Otherwise, you're gonna be paying through the roof in taxes, and we wouldn't want that. We want to avoid any expenses at all costs. So that's the first benefit. And then they also have different features like where to drive, which shows you exactly what areas around you are the very busiest during what times of day. So that can really come in handy. And also they have a feature of when to drive and they show you the average pay per hour in your area during certain times of day and during certain days of the week. So that can really come in handy if you don't know when to go out, when's the busiest time in your area that can show you. So I highly recommend it. It also has a place for you to input expenses if, if you wanna do that. I mean, I don't really put in expenses. I just track my mileage. So on to the next app, which is Para or Para. Now there's a lot of controversy with this app and it's because supposedly you can get deactivated if you use it. I've yet to see anyone get deactivated from using this app. So I don't know if it's a myth, but I use it. I've been using it for months and it's, it's not the best app in the world because there are some glitches in it, but it can come in handy, especially for new dashers. It shows you your complete order total details, which can come in handy. It does show hidden tips occasionally. It shows you whether or not the order's delivering to a house or an apartment, which can also come in handy. And there are some good features about it, but don't rely too heavily on it because it can be wrong sometimes. So just keep that in mind. So the next step that you're gonna wanna get is Audible. Now you don't actually have to get Audible specifically, but you're definitely gonna want to be able to listen to some audiobooks, unless that's not your thing, then you don't have to. But I think it's a great way to multitask and be able to learn something while you're making money. I've listened to many educational books on marketing, on making money, on just different motivational things. And let me tell you, it really helps because I feel like I'm being super productive. I'm making money on one hand and I'm learning and growing on the other hand. So I think that's a great source of your time. And also something that's not an app, but I've done it myself, is you can literally learn different skills while you're outdoor dashing. So I literally did all my online real estate school to get my real estate license while I was out dashing and I was able to get my real estate license and we'll be able to use it to buy my first house in the upcoming months and also future rental properties and that will be worth tens of thousands of dollars just because I took the time to enroll in the class for a couple hundred dollars and then listen to it while I was out dashing. So you can do different things like that which I think is the best possible way you can spend your time. And the next app kind of goes along with that and that would be Spotify or Apple Podcasts. You're gonna want entertainment throughout especially if you're dashing full time, it can get extremely boring. So I like to have podcasts to listen to. Again, I like to have ones that help me learn different skills or just from people I like. And it really makes the time go by quicker and makes your dashing shift a lot more enjoyable. Now the next app is one that's strictly for beginners in my opinion, but it would be the Beans app. And basically what this app helps you do is find apartments. That's why I said it's for beginners because when you've been going for four years like me, I know every single apartment in my entire area. Now, if I go outside of my area, then this app would come in handy. But basically it just helps you find apartments easier, which can really come in handy. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say it can really come in handy? But it, it really does because apartment orders can be such a pain in the butt because every apartment is different. You don't know if it's gonna be marked by letters and numbers, numbers and letters, or just, it, it gets so confusing and I swear the people that make apartments don't even comprehend like how to number things correctly because I swear they're always 
so often it's just a nightmare. So, so this app can be really beneficial. Now the next one is an app that helps you save on gas and that would be Get Upside. Now I personally can't use this app because it's not in my area for some reason, which annoys me so much because I could be saving quite a bit of money on gas, but I figured I would still let you guys know about it because once again, it can really come in handy, especially with gas prices as high as they are right now. You, you're just not gonna wanna pay full price for gas. You're not gonna wanna fill up 450 per gallon. It's just gonna eat into your earnings. But yeah, GetUpside, great app. I've heard a lot of great reviews on it. I know a lot of people that use it and really enjoy it. So you can check that app out as well. So the last app on this list is kind of a double app, but the concept is the same for both. And that would be Uber Eats and Grubhub. And you can also throw in any other gig app that you want. Just make sure that you're using as many apps as possible because I promise you guys, it does increase pay, like exponentially. Okay, that's the wrong word, not exponentially because it doesn't go like that, but it does go up pretty significantly. Like when I just used DoorDash for the first three years of my dashing career, I was making around I would say 16 to $21 an hour religiously. I could not make more than on my very best days, like $23 an hour. But now that I use as many apps as I possibly can, I hit $30 an hour pretty regularly. In fact, my low is about $25 an hour and my high is sometimes in the $40 per hour range. So just remember that you're gonna wanna add on Uber Eats if you haven't already and also Grubhub. And these apps actually can be busier in some areas areas than DoorDash. So in my area, DoorDash is the busiest, but Grubhub definitely comes in handy. Unfortunately, I can't use Uber Eats because I got deactivated off Uber Eats, but I still use Grubhub and I still have Instacart. I don't really use Instacart just because I hate shopping, but it's still an option for those of you out there. So just get as many apps as you possibly can. So just get as many apps as you possibly can and learn to go from there because I promise you it will increase your pay. But anyways, there you have it. Those are the seven apps that you guys need in order to improve your pay and the enjoyability of being a DoorDash driver. So if you enjoyed this video or got any information out of it, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you wanna see where I'm investing my money, make sure you go check out my other channel. It's called More Finance TV. Every single day I go over what stocks I'm buying, if I'm buying crypto, NFTs, and just anywhere I'm putting my money that I make over on this channel. So if you wanna see that, go check it out and I'll see you guys next time. Before I go, I just wanted to tell you guys that the link for Gridwise is down in the description. Also, I have a link to a spreadsheet that I created that helps you with all your kind of organizing of expenses. You just type in how much money you made for the day, how many miles you drove, and how many hours you went, and it breaks it all down for you. So if you're interested in that, click the link as well. It's just $4.99 a month. And yeah, keep making money, keep grinding. See you guys next time.